What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Foot Captain Fernandinho card to review. It's a player that looks really, really nice all rounded. He's got 84 pace with 90 dribbling, 80 shooting, 93 defending, 86 passing with 89 physicals as well. He looks like a player that is going to put in a really nice job defensively and a player that's going to help me out going forward as well. He's a 5 foot 10 player with medium high work rates, 3 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot i think we can all agree four star four star would have been very nice on this card but hey it is what it is he has got the lean body type with those kind of dribbling stats i'm expecting him to feel really really nice on the ball now the chem style i feel like it's quite obvious which chem style you need to go for right you need to go for the shadow chem style so you can boost up that sprint speed as much as possible the shadow chem style is giving this guy 98 acceleration with 91 sprint speed that kind of pace in the midfield is very nice to work with now the shooting ability i mean the finishing inside the box is probably going to be an issue with 74 finishing, but the long shots are not looking bad at all. He's got 85 long shots with 92 shot power. You best believe we're going to be giving those, uh, giving the long shots a go today, and hopefully they will end up in the back of the net. Now, has he got any shooting traits? Unfortunately, he does not. Now, the passing ability, 92 short passing, 90 long passing looks very, very solid. You have to keep in mind as well, he has got a four-star weak foot, so the passes with both feet is going to be perfect. The vision being at 83, though, it's a little bit questionable. I kind of would have liked that a little bit higher. Maybe like 86 vision, 86 vision would have been perfect. But 83 is a little bit low. Let's just hope those over top through balls though do, do still work out perfectly fine. Now the dribbling ability, as I said, he's got the lean body type. With those kind of dribbling stats, I am 100% expecting him to feel really solid on the ball. His defensive stats look like an absolute joke. He's got 99 interceptions with 86 heading accuracy, 99 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackling with the 99 slide tackling as well he's going to be a defensive beast i can tell you that right now and his physicals 96 jumping is very good for a player that is five foot ten he also has got 85 stamina as well with 88 strength and 97 aggression with a player that's got the lean body type you don't usually see that amount of strength and you don't really see that amount of aggression either so that is going to be very interesting to work with in that midfield now the links i don't think we need to get into it too much but he plays for City, and I and I think everyone, everyone knows what kind of players you can link come up with when it comes down to the clubs. Yeah, the club, insane for links. The nationality, Brazilian. Vinny, Neymar, Coutinho, Marquinhos. You got so many, so many good Brazilian players this year that you can link them up with as well. So yeah, links incredible in this card now positions i will be playing fernandinho in two positions the sentiment position and the cdm position in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow and a 4-4-2 so let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is gonna be step up on that there you go that's a good tackle already by fernandinho and he is trying to go forward there let's go for a switch to start this off and that is a good pass and asensio is on it is he making a run as well he is making a run that's a penalty I thought he wasn't going to call it for a second. All right, come on. Let's see if we can start this off with a goal for Fernandinho. A pass already, a uh, tackle, and a goal would be perfect. Come on. Top bins. What penalties has he got? 70 penalties. I am struggling put, to put this into the top corner. There you go. I had to focus for a second. Green timed as well. Yeah, keep ain't saving that. Give that into the middle there. Just go for a simple turn and accelerate into the space. Just keep it going here. Keep it going. There you go. Continue making that run. Go on. Full roll. Finesse shot. Green, please. Oh, that's a good save from Ariola. That's a good pass through the middle. Fernandinho on the edge of the box there. Full roll. Nice. Him on a roulette. Go on. Go on, please. All right, Fernandinho. 74 finishing. And it's going side netting. Look at the power. The power, the power behind it was incredible. Through the middle there. That's a bad touch. And that's when we go in for that tackle. Full roll, scoop it. Into Fernandinho's feet. We're going to go for the switcher play. Go on. That's a beautiful pass. We can't complain about that. I'm going to step there. Surely he's not going to continue going forward. And he does. Keep it calm. That's a bad touch. And that's when we go in. Well played. Is he going to make a run there? He is going to make a run. I'm not even telling him to make runs. He's just him seeing wide open spaces and going for it. And I definitely didn't expect him. That was a very powerful shot, but it was right at the keeper. I didn't expect him to be making those runs, though. He's got medium high work rates. He does feel very nice on the ball. Like, look at the touches he's taking. Nice uh, strength as well. Referee. Referee. Sort him out. Okay, not a red card. How is that a red? He's paused. He's probably going to quit because of the red card as well. That's a good pass to the edge, but we're out there with Fernandinho. Look at the transition speed. Look how quick he is. Going left and right. I've committed a bit too hard there. 
Is he going to continue going up? We're second man pressing this. No turn. No turn again. We're still there. We're still in this game. No way he gets that rebound, though. Come on. I was expecting Fernandinho to put in a very, very solid tackle. But yeah, you can clearly see he is extremely fast going left and right. No pass through the middle. Well played. Good reach. Not the greatest of touches, though. We're just going to get him back into position. That is a good turn. And Bai is going to be there, maybe. No way Bai doesn't come out of the ball. Fernandinho's here, though. Yeah, that's a good tackle. Through the middle, maybe. There you go. That's a good interception. Keep it going. Just keep it going. Ball roll that. Keep it calm. I'm looking for a switch of play, but there's no one down the line. So we're just going to driven it straight into Fafana. No pass into the middle there. Go on. Keep fighting. Use that strength. Go on. There you go. We eventually came out with a ball. The thing about him having that lean body type is he doesn't really get into that shoulder to shoulder animation very often. Like a player with an average body type, he gets into those animations every single play. But with a player with a lean body type, he doesn't get into that very often. So he can't really use that strength, I would say. To its full potential, but you guys clearly could see the aggression came in, came into play there. That's a good pass through that middle. Can we get that though? Look at that pace to cut that passing lane. That is beautiful. For a second, I didn't think he was going to get there, but he clearly did. We're going to go for the switch of play as well. There you go. That's a perfect pass again. His passing ability is incredible. We'll roll that. He's making a run. We've gone for it. Go on, win it. No, he's got good jumping as well. So I was hoping he was going to challenge, but... It's Varane at the end of the day. So, yeah, you kind of understand why he uh, didn't win it. Into the middle. He's wide open. That's a good pass. That's a good touch as well. Go on, please. Nah, nah. That's a second finish inside the box. He's got 74 finishing and he's placing this into the corner. He's running straight at us. Let's go for a slide tackle. Not the greatest of animations. I must admit, but it did the job. Can we go for the through ball as well? Look at that pass. Like the curve behind that is incredible. He's made a run there. That's a good pass. Good touch. Round a keeper. He's making some insane runs. I've got him on a balance instruction. That's literally it. And he's making runs inside the box. He's surely going to cut in. Yeah, there you go. Get that ball. No, we miss out on it slightly. But we get it with Luke Shaw. We're just going ahead here. Seeing if there's anyone to pick out a pass. Nah, there's not. We're just going to run. Just go for it. Look at the pace. Like, you can clearly tell... How is that gone in? His shooting ability is fake. There's no way. I didn't even time it. I wasn't expecting it to go in. What a finish. But yeah, you guys can clearly tell the Shadow Chem style is helping out that pace. No turn. Oh, that's a good pass. Keep on that again. There you go, man. Really, really nice tackle. He definitely does put in some really good tackles, man. And the way he can get out to players as well is super nice to work with. Go for a dummy there. Accelerate through the middle. Nah, I tried it. I wanted to see if that was going to work. Maybe I can accelerate there again. Chip towards a back stick. Chip. Clearly not a chip. Maybe through the middle there. There you go. We're out to him once again, man. Putting a good tackle in. Keep it going. We'll roll that and just keep it simple and pass through the middle. He is super nice to have in that midfield, especially with how he feels on the ball. Like you can turn at any angle with him and you know he's going to be taking good touches as well. It's not like he's going to take a touch that goes a little bit too far. No, that ball sticks to his feet. There's a gap through that middle. We're just going to cover that. There you go, man. Fernandinho reacting really quickly towards that pass and intercepting it perfectly. I do like how it stuck to his feet as well. It didn't just bounce straight off him. We'll roll this. Need a passing option. Look at Fernandinho trying to make a run in behind there. Oh my God. Pass it across. No, he was there. It was wide open for the sweat as well. So it is time to review and we ended up playing four games with Fernandinho. We scored five goals in those four games and unfortunately... We did not walk away with a single assist. But hey, it is what it is. I was not expecting to score five goals in only four games played with a midfielder. It's something that doesn't ha happen very often, but we would definitely, definitely take it. And I definitely wasn't expecting his shooting ability to be that good. You guys saw how many shots we took. You guys saw they get them get placed into the corner. 74 finishing, by the way. Hmm. EA, are you lying to us? Because that didn't seem like 74 finishing. I can tell you that right now. The power, the accuracy was straight up beautiful. So yeah, shooting ability, loved it. And that is something that I thought was going to be a little bit questionable on this card. The pace, you can 100% tell. The Shadow Chem style is helping out that pace. Because that pace in that midfield is beautiful to work with. That transition speed, so quick. Him getting out the players, insanely fast. So yeah, pace, loved it as well. Passing ability, I had a little bit of doubt about the vision being at 83 i thought maybe some over top through rules wasn't going to be as perfect as i would like him to be 
but they they were literally perfect they were getting directly getting put directly onto the player the curve behind the pass as well was absolutely insane so yeah the passing ability top tier dribbling ability you just knew he was going to feel good on the ball, right? You look at those kind of dribbling stats. You see that lean body type. You expect a card. You expect a card like this to feel really, really nice on the ball. And that's exactly what he felt. Like, you guys saw the left stick dribbling on this card. You guys saw how quick he was turning it. How quick he was uh, spinning past players, let's say. So, yeah, dribbling ability, insane. Defending ability. He is a 5 foot 10 player. So I did see him miss out on certain interceptions, which was a little bit annoying, but that's what you're going to get. But all round, the defending ability was really, really nice. Like him putting in tackles wasn't a joke. A lot of possession-based tackles, which is something I'm always going to enjoy. The defensive awareness as well, the tracking runs, cutting passing lanes. He was doing it all in that CDM position. So yeah, defending, insane. And physicals. I didn't see him get into a lot of occasions where he could use that strength, aka just get into like a shoulder to shoulder situation so he can body off the player. I didn't see that. And that is going to be something that is going to be rare to see as well, simply because he has got that lean body type. With a player that's got like an average body type or a stocky body type, they get into those kind of situations way, way more often. But with, with Fernandinho, I didn't really see it too often. What I did see though was the aggression. That 97 aggression, you can tell it is really nice to see in that midfield because he's always fighting for it no matter what if he's not pushing the player off the ball he's being as aggressive as possible pulling on the player and he eventually comes out with the ball and i know some people are probably looking towards that 85 stamina trust me it is enough to last for the whole 90 minutes now the price of the card 400k it's a lot of coins. It is a lot of coins. 400,000 coins, man. The thing is, right, like team of the season is also just around the corner. So I feel like there's going to be better midfielders than this Fernandinho card. He is amazing. He genuinely is. It's just 400k. I definitely do feel like EA is pushing it slightly. And I understand why they did that because of the links he gets, right? The fact that he gets that link to Ruben Diaz, team of the year, team of the year, Cancelo, uh, foot birthday, Jack Grealish, Bernardo Silva. You got so many, so many good city players that you can link them up with so yeah i kind of understand why they priced them at 400k but i feel like they are pushing it i feel like the only way this will be worth it is if you've got those players you've got the foot fantasy stones you've got the team of the years and you got like the foot birthday jack Grealish. that's when i feel like it will be worth it other than that i feel like they've overpriced this uh overpriced this sbc now i feel like a nice comparison would be uh alan both brazilian both come from the prem technically both play in the same position right both cdms and they can play sentiment they can play in a sentiment position as well which one do i believe is better i'm taking fernandinho the reason i'm saying that is simply because that dribbling on fernandinho is better and the shooting ability is 100 better on this card as well so yeah fernandinho over the foot birthday alan even though alan's got that five star weak fan four star skill moves it's just that shooting ability and that dribbling ability that really wins it for me now uh midfielders tier list where would he go i think he has to go s tier with what i've seen today he has to go s tier man he is an incredible incredible card it's just 400k i feel like ea have definitely definitely overpriced this card but yeah insane the one thing i thought was going to be a bit mm, let's say was the shooting ability and you guys saw how good it was today but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace